Hey sir and my dear friends, I am Sumanai studying 10th standard in Muspala High School, Babatla. Now I am going to analyze a bar chart. Friends, you know pretty well that according to a famous saying, a picture or a non-verbal item is worthy of 1000 words. The picture given here is a bar chart. It beautifully describes the density of population in different countries namely A, B, C, D, E and F. Here in the graph, we find x-axis horizontally and y-axis vertically. What do we find on x-axis? We observe some names of countries like A, B, C, D, E and F. What do we find on y-axis? We, we observe some number of people per 100 square kilometers. Look at the bar chart. The x-axis is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 bars. Here, the major bar is occupied by country A. It means the maximum number of people. That is 600 persons live, in, live here per 100 square kilometers. And the lowest bar is occupied by country B. What, do we, what you observed here? It means the lowest number of people. That is 50 percent live here per 100 square kilometers. In country C and country F, we notice that 150 percent live here per 100 square kilometers. And the second highest bar is occupied by country E. It means 400 people live here per every 100 square kilometers. In country D, we observe that only 200 people live per 100 square kilometers. Compared to the bar chart, except country B, all countries have a minimum of 150 person live per 100 square kilometers. This type of analysis is quite useful for any government to make budget allocations. The people, those who live in this area, lead their lives comfortably. This is a brief in the bar diagram. Thank you everyone for your kind attention. Well done Mr. Shiva Naik. Give him a big round of applause.